Good day everyone, I am Teacher Jess and I will be your teacher for today. Our lesson for today is all about... Okay class, are you ready? Let's go! We will study the science process skills. Okay, what is the science process skills? It is learning the process skills is preparation for becoming a scientist. We use science process skills to ask questions about scientific knowledge because they help us gather information orderly. Some of them it is measuring, classifying, predicting, observing. Before we will continue about the topic for today, let's read the vocabularies. The first one, skills. Second, measuring. And the last, observe. Let's see. Is the eight basic science process skills. Number one, using space-time relationship. Number two, measuring. Inferring. Number four, using numbers. Predicting. Number six, observing. Go to the eight integrated science process skills. The first one, formulating hypothesis. Number two, defining operationally. Number three, identifying and controlling variables. Number four, interpreting data and making conclusions. Number five, modeling, and number six, experimenting. Now, I will explain some of them. Okay, the first one, measurement skills. Using both standard and non-standard units of measure or state to describe the dimensions of an object or event. Comparing an unknown quantity with a known quantity, measurements are to be recorded in an orderly and systematic fashion with label units of measure. The example it is measurement tools, length, linear measurement base unit meter, volume, capacity base unit liter, Weight, mass, base unit, gram, temperature, hot or cold, base unit, Celsius. Next, number two, using number skills. This is the skill where we can count, calculate, and tell the number of things we observe or experiment. Formulating hypothesis skill. This is when we design and plan our experiment to find the answer to what we want to know about. Experimenting skill. This is when we design and plan our experiment to find the answer to what we want to know about. Okay, let's go the three steps. The first one, designing an experiment. Plan an experiment. Number two, doing an experiment. Do the experiment step by step and use everything that you plan. Number three, writing a result. Write down all data you get by using observing, measuring, counting skills, etc. That is the three steps. Okay, class, let's go to your activity. Page seven, let's try this. Match the measuring tools to their functions. Okay, class, don't forget to answer your activity. I hope you learned a lot today. Once again, I am Teacher Jess. See you soon and bye!